gonna teach you how to make a moving cube in Fortnite Creative. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a preview on what happens, and yeah, so this is all you'll see later in the video on how to make this, and this is our moving cube. And yeah, so guys, welcome to the video. Uh, while the cubes are moving, um, I'm gonna take time to explain this video. So, um, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to keep up with all my videos. Uh, these are the things you'll need: a trigger, a objective device cube, which you'll find in the objective device in the devices menu, and a sequencer. And then you also, and that's all you things you need for this one. And then I'm also starting a new thing called today's shout out, where you can shout. I'm going to be shouting out people, and today's shout out is the Raptor Games YT. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to him. His channel link will be down below. And yeah. So, this is how our cubes are moving and stuff, and yeah, let's get straight in to the video. So, I'm back in the creative menu, and now we're going to start our uh, cube movement. So, first thing you want to do is place down two cubes, and I'm just going to place them like this. And on your first cube, you want to do three settings, so you want to put the health as in relivable I don't know how to say it so sorry if I said it wrong and then hide health bar always and visible during games on so those are the three settings you want to do for now on the first cube only the first cube keep in mind that or keep in mind uh, just the first cube because if you do this on every other cube your event won't work or your cube movement then you want to put your health on this the next cube is in relivable and hide health bar always, but on this one, visible during games needs to be off. So then after you've done that, you've got your first two cube movements done. Then you want to get your next cube and place it here, and then your next cube over here. Now you don't need to do exactly what I did, but this is what I'm going to do. And yeah, this is how you're going to make it. And you only want to copy the second cube, not the first one, so yeah. And then it should look like something like this, or depending on what terrain you're doing, and that's it for the cubes now. Then we're going to move on to the next thing, which is the triggers and triggers in the um, sequencer. So you, first thing we want to do is place down four triggers, spaced out evenly, like that. And then you want to go into your sequencer and put tempo as two. And that's what you want to do for your tempo. And then zone visible during game no. And then you want to go over to your triggers after that. And then you want to put on this uh, this trigger when triggered. Transmit on channel 300. If you have channels taking up channel 300, 299 and so. Or going back down to 1. And so on. Uh, you might want to change it to channels that you're not using, but since I'm not using these channels, I'm going to use them. Then you want to go over to this one and do channel when triggered transmit on channel 299. And then when triggered transmit on channel 298. And then when triggered transmit on 297. Now, you've kind of done all of nearly all of the things you need to do. And then now you need to go over to your first cube and you want to put go over to the devices or the channels only section and go to turn off visibility when receiving from channel 300 then you want to go over to your next cube and do turn on visibility when receiving from channel 300 and then turn off visibility when receiving from channel 299 then you want to go to your next cube and do uh, turn on visibility when receiving from channel 299 and then put your turn off visibility as 298 and then on your next cube you want to do turn on visibility when receiving from ch channel 298 and then turn off visibility when receiving from channel 297 now straight after you do this you're done that's it and then I'm gonna show you how it works just uh, something that you need to keep in mind: check all your all your all of your devices before you start your game or show it to uh, everyone else. So I'm gonna check my devices to check if they're all good. If they're all good, you can start the game. 
and test your creation that you've made. After you do this, um, yeah, we're going to show the cube movements right here. So, first thing I'm going to do is go over to the sequencer and press uh, play on it. You can either change it so uh, when you um, press a button, it will actually make the sequencer go, but in this cube movement situation, I'm just going to stomp on the sequencer. So, now your cube has moved, so it just moved. Then you but be careful to not step on these because it will trigger them. Then you want to see your next cube. Move. There we are. So your cubes are moving. You can make it really slow like tempo is one. But I've just made it on two. And then you, for your next trigger. And yeah, that's really all for today's video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, that is all for the video. Um, you could get a shout out tomorrow uh, for tomorrow's shout out. So don't forget to like and subscribe to become tomorrow's shout out. Possibly coming to the tour. So thank you guys all for watching. Tomorrow there'll be another creative video coming up. So if you have any recommendations, comment them down below. I'd love to see everyone's recommendations. And I will see you guys in the next video.